2017 budget review and uh, the first department we are uh, meeting with is the library trustees. Hello. How Sorry. are you? Good. How are you? Excellent. I'm Amanda Cooper. I'm the library director. I have with me. I'm Bob LaMoth. I'm the chairman of the board of trustees for the Lane Library. And I want to take this chance to introduce you to the new assistant director. Her name is Stacey Mazur. She's our teen librarian. When Bill retired in April, he left behind two positions. He had a split position. He was the head of technical services. He was also the assistant director. The new head of technical services didn't have an interest or a background to become an admin as well. So we did an internal search, and Stacy was hired as the assistant director as well as being the team librarian. So I wanted you all to have a chance to meet her. Oh. Oh. Cool. We had an incredible. We're having an incredible year. We're doing really well. Um, on numbers on paper compared to last year. Um, because of Bill's departure, I was able to give you a budget that is almost exact, almost a zero budget. Um, one little issue with, um, oh, my brain fart. <laughs> Uh, life insurance, and so um, the women of finance make sure that I have all of my numbers exactly correct, all of my benefits exactly correct, and so I need to ask for 46 more dollars than this year, but overall, in the grand scheme of statistics, it's a 0% increase on the budget. Um, obviously, on the salary, wages, and benefits side, there is a reduction. Bill's absence leaves a larger salary behind from 37 years worth of, of working for us, as well as um, benefits. Parlaying that over into what I, we call our operating side, there are several things that we really could use, and now is a great time to try to get those in the budget without having any impact on taxpayers. Briefly, I'll just go through them. Sure. Um, our, in our maintenance area, we have a floor care line. It's had $10 in it all of the years that I've worked at the, at, in the town of Hampton. We have brand new beautiful carpets on the entire first floor of the library. I thought that it would be a good idea to try to maintain those rather than waiting for them to get wrecked. So I've put in just shy of $2,000 to do floor care going forward with those. Um, other area is our audio books. We subscribe to a service through the state of New Hampshire um, called Overdrive. That's all of our e-books and all of our audio. Um, e They're audio books, but you get them as downloads. Um, we have traditionally paid those through our, um, our non-appropriated account, our income account. We're anticipating a, a drop in that account as far as what income we're seeing come in. Um, our meeting room use, we're going to be doing away with the rental fee. And so with that, in anticipating that loss of revenue, we really wanted to be sure that we could still pay our subscription costs to Overdrive. We see thousands of use over, the, over a year, and so we didn't want to have that be in jeopardy. So we're transitioning that over to the operating side. Um, I've asked for more money for programs. Um, it's $2,200 more, let's say. Um, the biggest programs we mount in the year during the summer, we spend about $5,000 just on summer reading program. And so that 2000 really allows us to maybe host a few more well-funded programs throughout the rest of the year. Um, there's a little bit more money in the teen department. Um, since Stacy became the teen librarian, we've seen a 78% increase in the programs that, the attendance of programs she's hosting we have a 57% increase in the number of programs offered. So it's exciting, it's dynamic. We want to make sure that there are good books and audio books and resources for the teens once they're coming into the library. And so we really wanted to make sure that she had enough funds for that. There's a little bit more money in computers. Um, computer use this year has gone up 6% over this time last year. So we're seeing, and it's actually it's sort of a resurgence. We were seeing a reduction in the number of people who were using the library for computers, and that's really gone back up. We're pleased with that, and we want to be able to offer them continuing functional, slick technology, things that are going to work, that are going to, if they're you know, coming from a home office, they want to make sure that they have the software that they're used to, printing capabilities and things like that. So that's the, the short story about what's changed. I'd be happy to answer any questions. Regina. Um. Not any questions. Uh, great job on the budget. The only thing I did have, which I believe Christy is going to address, and I'm sure it's going to come back to you, was on the the five percent increase for the um, insurance premiums. Just whether or not that's going to be enough. Yeah, but and that's between between when we meet with the selectmen and between when we meet with the budget committees when we usually get that final number. And so, right, it so often happens. But yeah, other than that, that's great. Good job. Thank you. Jim, yeah, no, I, good, good budget. Uh, I had some questions, but you answered them. Oh, good. On why the, the decrease in the uh, merit pay and that because of the, the change. I think that's good. And when you said there's an increase in computer usage, mm -hmm. what kind of increase? So, 
we have 14 public computers. People can come in, grab a computer for an hour, do any number of things. They could be playing a game between having two meetings. They could be printing out their resume, printing their Red Sox tickets, any number of things. We don't log their usage. They come to our reference desk for assistance, and so we see some of the things that they might be doing. There are people doing homework. There are people doing job hunting, resume writing, all of those traditional uses. We are seeing a lot of people who have completely stopped having any sort of printing at home, and so a good number of people who come in to get to get that copy center services, and we have, um, it's two years now we've had them, but some really slick machines that print quickly with great quality, and so I think people are coming in for that. Okay, good. And you said how much was the increase in teen? Uh, so we have a 57% <coughs> increase in the number of programs that are offered, and a 70 number, 78 percent increase in the attendance of those teens in those programs. Wow, so, that's great. Yeah, it's phenomenal. That's great. We're very excited. Yeah, super. Uh, Phil, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Stacy, congratulations on your ascent uh, up the corporate ladder. Uh, Bob, thank you for your service, and uh, Amanda, tremendous, tremendous job over there. It is a robust, dynamic, uh, vital part of this town, and uh, it has heavy usage. I'm in there every day. Uh, as a lot of citizens are, and it really is a, a fabulous, fabulous asset to the town. So thank you very much. And uh, for the town, you just had a birthday, we understand, so a belated happy birthday. <laughs> thank you, Mr. Chairman. Rick. Yeah, <clears throat> thank you, um, all that you do at the library. It's a wonderful place. You certainly handle your budget uh, wisely. And uh, I recently met uh, someone that works over there. Uh, I can't think of her first name. Her name is Jen. Jennifer. Jen, yeah. Yep. And uh, she comes from Manchester mm -hmm. and drives here. And uh, she has really filled me in on a lot of things about the library I wasn't aware of. And uh, she makes it sound like a very exciting place, which I am aware of. So thank you. All. I think we're all set. Very good. Excellent budget. Thank you.